When you step into a skate shop, you're surrounded by a variety of brands. But what would skateboarding look like if just one company owned all the trademarks and patents? Do you think skateboarding would have evolved into this? Or would it still look like this? Or even like that? I'm here to tell you the true story of a company that actually monopolizes an entire board sport. Small companies. They'll get sued. I want to see an open market as much as the next guy. This board means change in the wind. Three days later, Fish and Motion sued us. We are trying to make money. It's not a zero-sum game. There can be only one. 